The passage that inspires this year's Envision Conference, Envision 2022, is taken from the prophet Isaiah chapter 30. It's an amazing promise that the prophet Isaiah makes to us that in the midst of a time of what he calls the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, God promises us that our teacher will not leave us, but we will hear his voice where he says to us, this is the way you need to go either to the left or to the right. We are carrying out this conference in a way like we never did it. Instead of one week conference, we have a whole month of conference. We never did it before, but we trust that the Lord will help us. And I pray for you that God gives you this flexibility in your heart to embrace the change that is needed to lead your ministry and to lead your church. I personally believe that God has prepared the earth for a new wave of revival and evangelism like we have never seen before in our lifetime. I'm praying today that in the busyness of your leadership journey, that you'll stop, you'll pause, you'll ask for God's heart for people. Every person is important to God. And God is calling us in this post-pandemic world to come down off of our big stages, to come down off of our high horses, so to speak, and see people for who they really are. They're hurting, they're broken, and they need you to look in their eyes and look in their heart and tell them the hope that Jesus brings to the world. We're at a great turning point for the church today. The pandemic has given us a pause to look at the forms and the functions of the modern church. And I believe it's a time of restoration when God is restoring the smaller groups that were filled with the vitality of the Holy Spirit, where high quality disciples were produced who went out and changed the world. It's that vitality, it's that strength, it's that power in the individual serving the overall body of the Lord that will change the world in our day, will transform and revitalize the church and bring the kingdom of God to earth. God is saying that his plan to establish his kingdom has to do with Israel in the center and the whole region of the Middle East, Egypt, Assyria, and Israel. We need to remember that the origin, the foundation of the highway, it is worship more than just economics more than just having political, peaceful political relationship. It has to do with worship. Egypt, Assyria, Israel worshiping. That's my prayer for you, that God will give you, in the midst of this crisis, a heart that is open for change. More prayer, more seeking the face of the Lord, strengthening our relationships. And I believe we are building in such a way the foundations for the future. God bless you here from this Envision 22 conference.